Good morning. It has been a while since you guys have seen me. Um, and I have a lot to explain. So, cause there's been a lot going on. Okay, so you're probably wondering why on earth um, did our channel temporarily disappear? Um, okay, so to do my best to summarize this, and I am driving right now because it is New Year's Day. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Um, so, and I'm going to go pick up some groceries and then hopefully um, my husband and I with our wonderful baby girl, um, even though she's not like a little girl, <laughs> but she's our baby girl, uh, hopefully we're going to go catch a movie today. So, so there's a lot going on. But why did our channel <clears throat> disappear? Why, why are we finally coming back? Okay. Well, when we were in the process of transitioning our um, soon to adopt a dog, uh, soon to adopt daughter into our home, we were having some some issues with her former foster home, um, and there there was kind of a I guess there was this this concern about um, how public I am. So to protect our home and our life and our soon to adopt daughter, uh, especially while we were transitioning as a family and we were trying to um, connect and bond and just, and just have that time together. Um, <clears throat> sorry, we've been all sick this holiday season and I'm still trying to get over it. Um, we were, I just felt like I needed to kind of shut everything down for just a little while because um, th there was just a lot of drama that was happening and it was it was stressful drama and it was starting to affect our kid um, and that's not okay for me I, I that's 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 crossing a line for me personally as a parent so um, yeah that's why how has everything been going because I know that has been another question um, it has actually been going really well. Um, the transition period um, actually could not have been better. Um, and I would say we're still transitioning because we're about to go through another transition um, where we're gonna get uh, our kid ready for a brand new school. And that can be very, very hard for our kids, um, especially as our kids in foster care, um, they are used to. Okay, so with transitioning kids into new schools, especially our kids in foster care, because they have moved around a lot, um, when you can try to keep them in a consistent, stable place, um, that really helps with a lot of their emotional trauma, um, any behavioral challenges, depending on the child's age. Um, so with our kid who's transitioning from one high school to another, um, you know, there's a lot of emotions tied into that I, I, and we're, and we're learning that from her. Um, and so, you know, I want to try to make sure that this transition goes as smoothly as possible. Um, that's not to say that we aren't going to make mistakes as parents because we all do. Um, but we're going to do the best that we can. You know, my husband and I, we're just taking one day at a time. Um, for right now, we're going to try to have her as a car rider to help her with that transition. Um, when she feels more comfortable, if she wants to go back to riding the bus because she used to at her former foster home, um, then she can do that. And I mean, and that's the thing I've offered to her. I'm like, you know, if you want to be a bus rider, absolutely. Just let us know. Um, so, you know, we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, but that's really the biggest transition that we have coming up. We did register our daughter, um, and I am calling her our daughter, even though we're not an official legal family yet. Um, right now, it looks like that date would be about end of May or sometime in June of this year now, because it's so weird to say this year, uh, because I used to say next year. Um, <clears throat> so we did register our daughter for three different activities. We registered her for voice lessons. Um, because she has a phenomenal singing voice and she would love to get into singing. She'd like to consider um, trying out for the choir in high school. Okay, groceries are here. So now we get to go home. 
or I should say I should go home. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. I'll say we. Um, okay, so then the next activity that we registered our daughter for um, is dance. And this is not a, a competitive dancing studio. This is um, a regular dancing place that just really focuses on technique, movement, um, different types of dancing moves, flexibility, um, it really, it, it's kind of geared to prepare you for if you wanted to try out for different types of dance teams that high schools or at least our local high school offers. Um, so, you know, that's pretty exciting and she does know that. Um, but ever so often, like this dance studio does have um, like teams that you can try out for and they'll go perform for like kind of small local events. Um, you know, for fun and for practice and, and really just kind of experience and exposure. So the third um, activity that we registered our daughter for um, was Taekwondo. Now, you're probably wondering um, why Taekwondo? And also, did she request all of these? Yes, actually she did. Um, she didn't specifically say, I want to do this, that, or the other. She just said, I really love these things and I want to be better at them. So as a parent, you know, that was our responsibility. And as parents, that was our responsibility to find a way for her to embrace her passions and to um, improve her passions. So that's why we found a voice lesson teacher that actually comes to our home, uh, which is really cool. Um, a more or less non-competitive dance studio because I really didn't want her, um, I, I didn't want that to be the main focus for her, but the Taekwondo is competitive. I mean, it, it well, it offers competition. You know, you can level up in belts um, and then they do have like, you know, their own types of competitions. Um, and she really wanted to learn martial arts. It's very important to her that she feels like she can feel that sense of control with herself. Um, and so obviously we want to try to help her feel empowered and strong within her within herself um, as a young lady. So yeah, these will all be starting in January. It's going to be insane um, because right now our schedule looks like so right now it looks like our schedule will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday evenings, um, which is just going to be crazy. And then Thursday and Friday evenings um, will probably be um, depending on how many visits a month we're going to get from uh, her caseworkers and CASA and all that. Um, plus, we are going to be going to a therapist, so we need to also factor that in as well as a family and also for her individually. So then, then either Thursday or Friday will be taken up. It's It'll be crazy. And then of course, if there are any recitals or if there are any competitions that she does decide to do, um, that will probably more likely be um, on the weekends. So life will begin to feel um, busy and, um, and possibly chaotic. Uh, but again, this is kind of the life of, you know, being a, per a parent with kids. So. Um, you know, we, we all do kind of get a little bit busy and, and all that, but I'm excited for her because this is going to be a sense of normalcy that she's never experienced, you know, where she actually goes to a school where, um, you know, like she's, she's surrounded by kids that are being raised similarly. They, they live in a very similar, you know, type of neighborhood. So the culture is, is a little bit more consistent than where she's coming from. Um, she's going to be involved in activities. Again, a lot of girls her age are involved in at her school. Um, and I'm hopeful that she will be able to uh, make, you know, friends or expand on her friendships. Um, I know that she's, she seems a little resistant to that right now. And I'm, I'm just hoping that, you know, if she can connect with some kids at her new school, um, that we can try to um, help nurture those new relationships. She has a wonderful best friend that that just my husband and I just absolutely love and adore. Um, and we got to have her over during the holiday period and then uh, our kid got to go over to her place and it was just really great for the two of them to experience that together um, because they've been friends for a couple of years now or a few years now. Um, so we're just very excited about that because this is, she's just, this is a really great kid. She's 
that she claims is a best friend and I'm, I'm just very happy for her. So, you know, but I, I just remember when I was her age at 15, like, you know, I had several friends that I was, I loved and I was close to. And so I guess I'm just kind of hopeful that she gets to have a little bit of my childhood, um, which was a happy time, you know, a very positive time for me. Um, so anyway, so there's all that and, and that is a lot. Um, so I will do the very best I can to bring some of the videos out. I have a few things that I'm going to be showing. Um, I, I can't show all of our Christmas stuff yet um, because until she's legally ours, um, I can't really show her face, but I'm, I'm being creative. So just bear with me. There are a couple of videos that I will post. Um, but for now, um, it's going to be mostly, um, mostly just kind of me talking either in the car or, <laughs> or in the house. All right, guys, happy new year. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.